Hey guys, welcome to another video to this YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a short tutorial on how to improve airport textures and everything. So improve the detail of runways, taxiways, parking stands, all of that. Um, and obviously at the end of the video I'll just show you what it will all look like. So all of this, so currently at London Heathrow Airport, all of this will change. So these will look better, no messed up textures, and it will just look nicer and vacuum and all that when doing flights and all. So, to begin the tutorial, I'll head to my desktop and show you how to download everything. Now we are getting to the installation part of the tutorial. There will be a link in the description that will take you to the xpeng.org website so we can get the airport environment HD scenery. So this is like the difference of how it should look after we've done the update to our scenery and everything. So taxiways have improved, ads on cracks, whatever. And we'll be changing like airport numbers as well, so runway numbers for example. And yeah, so what you want to do, first head to the download and click download this file. It will show up and you just have to wait for it to download. And here's like the installation as well. And if you have old explained, then I'm not going to really do the tutorial on how to do this one. I'll just be doing the the main ones for the up-to-date explain 11. But if you want to do this, I will try and see if people want to put it in the comments, then I'll do another video on how to install old scenery as well. But other than that, once this has installed, we'll head to our explain folder. So to do that, we go to your whatever drive. So it could be your C drive or whatever other drive, but I'd named this hard drive G drive. You go to your hard drive and you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Xpin 11. Then after here, you go to Resources, Bitmaps, Runways. And then this is where you'll copy and paste all the scenery that you've got from airport environment into there. So I'll just open this. Now what you could do, if you have, do not have WinRAR, then you can just extract the folder. So you'll have all these separate folders. So you've got part two, part 1.5 and 1, and then it's the optional as well. So this is for, I believe, actually I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the taxiway signs will improve that as well. So what you want to do once you're on here, you want to go to the scenery textures one file and simply just copy all of these files and paste it into your bitmaps folder for the runways so you want to get this so make sure make sure it is part one so i'm going to get all of these files and drag them in here once you have done that it will bring up the option to replace so you just want to replace in destination and it'll move everything there once you have done that then you can go back to the optional version so this is where it would change it so if you're flying in Europe it'll show European numbers so usually there will be a zero after the number so if it's like a single number so zero two for example but I fly in Europe a lot so what I'll do I'll just copy this and paste this also so just grab this and just paste it in the same folder and yes replace files and destination once you have done that you go back and what you want to do is go to part two scenery now to do part two which would make your scenery look better as well so you click on the part two folder and then it'll come with the airport environment hd folder what you want to do is go to custom scenery as it says here and then once you're in custom scenery you just simply drag and drop or copy and paste doesn't matter and then it will apply that folder into this folder and there we go you've now fully installed all these add-ons so now your airport and everything will look better so as I said before, if you want to do like the optional or old scenery, so if you have an old x 11, then you can use this. If you want to, me to do a video on this, then you just ask me in the comments and I'll probably do one. Other than that, we've got Airport Environment HD installed. So now I'll show you what the airport looks like now and everything. This is a video for what it would look like before. So these are the textures before we do the add-on. So you can see like, it's very low quality and all, the grass is different as well. And you know, stands just don't look too great, it's just very basic. At London Luton Airport, you can see how much there is a huge change in scenery. So you'll usually get stuff like this, but yeah, again, it's not, it doesn't really blend in. You can see how much the taxiways have improved and the runways and, and all of that and so on. But yeah, overall it looks really good. And I think it's much better than obviously the default scenery. And then if you add like Orbex scenery or whatever onto this, then I guarantee it will be a 10 out of 10. So yeah. Now guys, as you can see, 
you can see there's a massive difference from the old and new scenery. Already, just by looking at the runway, you can see how the detail has increased. The grass looks greener, fresher. Chase! All right, go to the exterior. You can see a huge difference in how everything looks. Taxiways have improved. And just a huge transformation. So we can head along here as well. You can see that it's done a lot of detail, especially for the runways part. And yeah. So we can also show you how the night is affected as well. I don't know what that is, jeez. So we can see how it will look during the night as well, and I'll just turn on the lights for the aircraft. So let me just... On runway, two, seven, left, flaps, flaps. Just turn everything on. And then we set it to night. Oh, no, not weighing balance. can see how the runway looks, looks really nice as well. So it just makes everything look better as well. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. And if you found it useful, then please give it a like. And yeah, share and subscribe. Farewell guys, take care.